Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator. In the last part we dueled Blister over here. We lost once and then we won once. So in this part we're going to be dueling Bolt Tanner, who is actually quite a tough opponent as I found out in my last attempt to, to record this in which in which I uh, lost three times in a row. Bolt Tanner's kind of nasty. Kind of nasty as uh, as opponents go. Mainly because he has like a bunch of traps and his uh, and a load of like things that he can use to take cards from you and stuff like this with uh, just high, generally high stats. Draw. Well, heavy storm can be used to get rid of this entire the the, the uh, face down board at least the the, the entire face down board at least. Hmm. Well, I will summon. I will summon Jane in attack mode, even though I can't. There, there we are. I triggered the trap hole. Uh, I'll end my turn then. Goddamn trap hole. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm going to be taking 3,400 points of damage this turn. I can't do anything about it, so uh, so be it. Mm -mm. Well, mm -mm -mm. giant orc is forced into defense mode, and because of that, I am I now have a uh, an advantage. I'll throw torrential tribute face down. I will summon Thunder King Ryo in attack mode, and uh, I will attack your giant orc and get rid of it because I don't want it on the field. I don't mind not dealing damage, but because I know exactly how much I know exactly what kind of monsters can come out of uh, Pyramid Turtle. I will end my turn there. Hmm. Plague Spreader, you're gonna tune. You're gonna tune these. Okay, in that case. I will attempt to activate Thunder King's special ability. I tribute my monster to, to negate your special summon. Plague Spreader allows him. Uh, Plague Spreader can be special summoned from the graveyard. However, his attack is worth 400 damage, which is not a big deal, and he has no, no one else to tune with. Thus, his special ability was wasted. Draw. Hey, another Jane. Nice. Um, I'll summon. Yeah, I'll summon Jane again. I will summon Jane Lightsworn Paladin and again, again. And Jane will destroy your plague spreader. You gotta keep. You gotta keep the pressure on and against Bolt Tanner, because if you if you let up, then uh, then he can overwhelm you pretty easily with stuff like this. Hetrogodia. Uh, is that worth? Well, I can't use it now anyway, for some reason. Oh well. It's not a big deal, really, because uh, I have monsters that are more powerful than Jane that I can summon next turn. Specifically, I have Garoth. So, uh, you can special... Uh, there. Once per turn, you can send a monster from your hand to the graveyard to control... A, uh, to gain control of a monster your opponent controls, whose level is the same as the sent monsters. Once per turn you can select a monster from your graveyard and treat this card as the same level as the selected card until the end phase. So Trigodi is very useful for like um, tuning monsters, for, for uh, synchro summons, stuff like that. But um, it's a pretty powerful card in and of itself, if nothing else. Are you going to summon a monster? You gonna do anything at all? No, you're not doing anything at all. Okay, in that case, I'm all right with that. Mm -mm -mm. I'll summon Garoth in attack mode. I will not activate Torrential Tribute. Uh, my Jane will attack Trigodia. That power boost doesn't matter in this case. It would have if you'd if you'd had one more card, and Garoth gets a direct attack on you. Yeah, 1850. 
I'll end my turn there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, if he plays... Oop, Garoth discards some more cards. Anyway, uh, if he plays another face down, then I'm using the Heavy Storm. I don't want... I, I can't risk that. Uh, I can't risk a face down being a Mirror Force. Yeah, I'm doing that now. I'm doing that, definitely. I draw. Hey, a Mirror Force. Beautiful. Heavy Storm! Oh, Magic Jammer. Alright, well you discarded your... Uh, your... You you used that magic jammer to block my heavy storm and discarded your equip card, which could probably have uh, been used to overpower either of my monsters. That means either this monster isn't very good, or the pr or the card you're protecting is much better than I'm. That is, is is really good indeed. Which means that I'm not having it activate. I activate. I summon Creebons. And now, I'm going to tune Creebons with um, Garoth. I, I, I Synchro Summon. I, I tune Creebons with Garoth to, su to Synchro Summon. Brionac, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. And Brionac's special ability allows me to discard cards from my hand. So, Lumina, for example. Uh, and in exchange, I get, hang on, 2300, 1800 is not enough to kill. So, yeah. I discard my Lumina to send your face down card back into your hand. I'm not having that deal, I'm not having that mess up my board. I'm attacking my Brionac, uh, with Brionac, I will destroy your face down card. Huh. That's a Morphing Jar. Okay, fine. Morphing Jar forces us to discard our cards. That was a United We Stand? Wow. I was completely misreading that then. Oh well. Jane gets to hit you in the face for uh, 1800. And now, I'm going to... I'm going to place Light Swarm Barrier face down and end my turn. There goes some more cards. That's all right. Brionac's a nice card in this case. Pyramid Turtle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not. I'm not too bothered about Pyramid Turtle, to be honest. I activate Light Swarm Barrier. This allows me to discard. Wait, what? Well, that's all right. Whatever. Go for it. If you want to do that, then fine. However, your Pyramid Turtle special ability is going to special summon Rukoki. And uh, because of that, I'm going to then activate... Oh, that's not a Light Swarm Barrier. That's why. It's, it's not a Light Swarm Monster, so I can't activate the barrier. But that's okay, because I'm going to activate Necro Gardener special ability to block your attack. <laughs> I'm fine with this, because I can then... Now I can use uh, Brionac special ability... I can discard one of my cards to, uh... I will discard Necro Gardener and Beckoning Light to send your two cards back to your hand. Back in the hand there. And now I get to hit you for all of your life points. Goodbye. <laughs> that went quite well. That went a lot better than my uh, than my last attempt at dueling this guy. Whew, that was uh, that wasn't too bad. It wasn't nearly as bad as the last video against where we fought him went. Uh. <laughs> I'm human. Shut up. Uh, not right now, thank you. Sorry. Mm hmm. My tag partner fits mi fits my deck a lot better than you do, I'm afraid. Um, I we were going to uh, duel Tanner and uh, and Bliss Bolt Tanner and Blister as a tag duel now, but um, I, I'm afraid I'm pretty sure we don't have enough time for it. I mean, we can try it. We'll try it. Yeah, let's try it. Because uh, we got ten, we're we're at ten minutes right now. 
We should be able to do this in like eight minutes, probably. We should be able to make it, I think, actually. However, um. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, however, uh. Bolt. Bolt and, um. Blister are not very, uh. Are not very well paired, I think. I'll throw Mirror Force, and I will throw Glorious Illusion, and I will place. Uh. Uh, I will activate Solar Recharge and discard my Celestia to draw two cards. Then I'll summon Jane in attack mode. And I'll end my turn. It's a reasonable starting ha starting play. And we discarded a Gragoneth from that. That's good. That means we've got two Light Swarm monsters in the graveyard, which means we're, we're, we're uh, close to being a uh, able to uh, summon Judgment Dragon already. What on earth? Archfiend? Um, what? You didn't ha- what? What happened? Uh... Huh. Why don't I have the Light Sworn... The Light Sworn, uh... Person here? I don't- I don't get it. Oh well. You sacrifice my monsters to sum my monsters to summon Mist Archfiend. Gragoneth gets to hit you hard, and then Mist Archfiend also gets to hit you guys hard. Except Trigodia. However, Trigodia only has twelve hundred points because uh, he has bec because uh, Bolt only has two cards in his hand, so Mist Archfiend can overpower it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Huh. Gragoneth discards some cards. Glorious Illusion also discards some cards. Yeah, my, my gimmick doesn't fit her very well, <laughs> unfortunately. Lightning Vortex. Oh, God. And now all of our monsters are in the graveyard. And then a Monster Reborn lets him bring back Mist Archfiend. Bottom's Trap Hole removes it from play. Gaia Power. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's that's uh, that's what you have. You don't have any monsters. Ouch. That's 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 a harsh starting hand. No monsters at all. Wow. Draw. I can't use solar recharge because I don't have any uh, light swarms. Archfiend's raw. Pay 500 points to activate this card. Special summon an archfiend from your graveyard. This monster can't be tributed under any conditions and is destroyed during the end phase of this turn. So what do we have in the graveyard in terms of archfiends? We have uh, Archfiend, G Archfiend General. You can discard this card to the graveyard to add a pandemonium from your ha deck to your hand. If this card is not is on the field, but pandemonium is not on the field, destroy this card. Huh? Yeah, that seems about right. Battle scarred. Select a Archfiend monster from your side of the field to activate this card. Your opponent also pays the same life points that you pay for the selected monster during the the standby phase. If this card is removed from the field, destroy the, the selected monster. <laughs> when it's when the monster is removed from the field, destroy the card. Uh, Archfiend Soldier is just a powerful card. Cyber Archfiend. If you have no cards in your hand, draw one more card in addition to your normal draw. During your end phase, if you have one or more cards in your hand, destroy this card. Hmm. Mist Archfiend. We do have a Mist Archfiend in the graveyard. But it is powerful. Yeah, I think I might do that, to be honest. I will activate Archfiend's Roar! I pay 500, 500 life points, and in exchange I can revive Mist Archfiend from my graveyard. And now, I'm going to... Hmm, I don't have a, a, a two synchro... No, I, I can't do anything with my uh, current mo monsters in my hand, so I'm not going to summon them. I guess I could go with uh, the Herbalum, but that's not very interesting. Miss Archfiend, direct attack! 2400 points of damage is good. We still couldn't kill this turn, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I will throw Torrential Tribute just in case my, uh, my partner here wants to use it. 
And Mr. Archfiend is destroyed at the end of the turn because it was summoned via um, Archfiend's Roar. Does he have any monsters? He doesn't. Wow, that's really harsh. Archfiend Soldier in the hand now. We could summon that. 1,900 points of damage. Bottomless Trap Hole counters it. Okay, fine. Whatever. What is that spell? I don't know what that spell is because you haven't activated it. Falling down. Destroy this card if there are no Archfiend cards in your solar field. Take control of one of your opponent monsters and equip it with this card. Torrential Tribute is wasted on one card. Brilliant. Oh dear. This is a slow burning duel. <laughs> Draw. I have a horrible hand right now. It's really not great. I can do this again, I suppose. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll use Archfiend's Roar again. I pay 500 to revive uh, Mr. Archfiend from the graveyard. It's level 5. Damn it, I should have pulled up one of the uh, level 4s. What am I doing? Oh well. It's not a problem. I'll summon Hyper Synchron. I can't synchro. Yeah, I didn't think so. And I will attack you with both. For the win, I think. Assuming you can't block this. I mean, it looks like you can't. Nope. That's a victory then. Nice. <laughs> okay. So that was nice and quick. The tag duel was easier than the, uh, the normal one because their decks aren't synced with each other very well. Just like mine and my partners isn't because for some reason we don't have uh, we don't have the uh, light sworn girl as 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 our partner anymore anyway I'll see you guys next time when we fight somebody else in the tag duels so uh, we fight fight another tag duel with somebody else in this area so I'll see you guys then goodbye everybody oh um, before I before I forget um, there won't be any videos next week, and probably not the week afterwards. Uh, th yeah, there definitely won't be any next week, and probably not the Tuesday of the week afterwards, because I'm going on holiday. So, uh, so uh, I don't have any back backed up uh, videos, unfortunately. So, sorry about that, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time, which will be in a week and a half or so. So, uh, goodbye everybody.